Now today's discussion. Hmm. <clears throat> I hope you find it useful. We're going to talk about the transformation of fear into power, personal power. Mm, it begins with your conceptualization of authority. Who do you believe is in charge? Mm, now for many of you at this time, in this moment, I would say that your idea of the authority, the person in charge, um, is a government official of some sort, an enforcer type of personality in your world, in your personal reality. And because you're a good citizen, you obey. Mm. However, how does it feel to obey uh, out of fear? Uh, how does it feel to <clears throat> behave according to someone else's ideas uh, of behavior in a civilized society. The cliche that is used. In this exercise I'm going to ask you to question authority. All types of authority. Uh, in order to see uh, where you are with authority figures in your personal reality. So questioning authority goes something like this. Um, a leader. Let's call that a negative leader. Uh, one of those ruthless leaders that I talk about in my books. Uh, suggests uh, that you <clears throat> remain uh, in your homes mm. rather than going out and about in your world as you used to, you say. The first thing that comes up for most of you is fear. Um, obviously there's some fear to begin with. Uh, you, at this time, find yourself in a crisis. Um, if you've been reading my books, listening to my messages, you know that I identify this crisis, the current one, as manufactured primarily. But nonetheless, a crisis uh, is created to instill fear in the population. That's why they do it. Uh, that's what it does. So, yes, you're afraid to begin with. Uh, and then to lead you out of the darkness, the leader suggests that you obey certain strict laws of behavior. Mm, the fear immediately uh, rises. Uh, the individual fear creates anxiety in your consciousness. You can't think straight. Uh, and so the next behavior, possibly, you obey, thinking that the fear will uh, resolve. 
it does for some time. But then, uh, the human being uh, remembers this idea of personal will. Hmm. And it comes up to perhaps question the authority. Hmm. Questioning authority. Is this for my benefit? Is it good for me to feel afraid? Is it good for me to obey the dictates uh, of authority figures? Uh, then often a, hmm, a concept, an idea, an attitude, rises up into your awareness. Disobedience. Mm. What happens when you consider uh, questioning the authority uh, and perhaps not obeying the dictates of a negative leader, let's say? The fear dissolves immediately. Uh, perhaps you realize that you feared the negative leader. That's where the fear comes from. Uh, in this process, in this transformation, uh, ironically, as you disobey, as you question authority, you find your own authority, your own idea of the truth, uh, what I call the ancient wisdom um, reveals itself. Hmm. So perhaps you look within for guidance, as many of you do. Uh, you find ecstasy. You find a good, peaceful feeling within uh, that prompts you to continue. Um, it will lead you to your own authority, uh, to a portal I call the ancient wisdom communication stream, where you can find out anything you wish about anything. And this information streams into your personal consciousness, into what we call your mental landscape. Mm, it gives you some ideas about what to do now that you are <laughs> empowered. Uh, now that you are feeling your own authority. Now that you are disobeying. Now that you are relieved of the fear and have created a state uh, of ecstasy. Elementary ecstasy, we call it. You are not overcome with ecstasy or good feelings. You do have a sense of uh, rightness, uh, a correctness of thinking that informs your, uh, your thinking and your behaviors moving forward. In other words, you begin to act on your own authority. Even as a negative leader screams in your ear, uh, perhaps, to obey. Now, I am not trying to cause a ruckus here. I'm merely reminding you of something you already know. And with that, I will say goodbye for a time. Thank you for watching.